Okay, so today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Power to Max NG power meter. This is the Shimano 4 volt SL version, and it is made for a rotor ALDHU carbon crank. Um, and I wanted to kind of make a little video here because when I was doing some research, I really liked the just it just works factor of the Power to Max, but I didn't love that the charging used an old micro USB cable. Um, but the good news is here that they've actually switched it to a magnetic charging port. And they haven't even published that really on their website, but here you can see the, the new cable. So it just clicks right in super easily and then you can charge it. Um, so super awesome with that change. Obviously, the active temperature compensation, the plus or minus 1% accuracy, all super nice features to have. Um, the other thing is I was worried initially too about this little cover, um, but now that I actually have it in hand, it's it doesn't go anywhere, um, especially once you push it in hard like this, you know, it just, it's solid. So really nothing to worry about there. Um, all of the internals are kind of housed in this back section here and I actually took off these screws because I was just kind of curious uh, what was under there and it's filled with resin so any water um, can actually never get into the power meter so it's it's like the asiomas in that sense where it's just filled with resin and it makes it so water ingress is virtually impossible um, I'm sure there could be a, an edge case where it, it doesn't work out like that but um, it, it would have to be pretty hard uh, rain or power washing to get it in there. So let's take a couple quick measurements here. All right, zeroed up. So this is just for the spider itself, just the power meter portion. Coming in at 121 grams. And in order to run this power meter, you obviously are going to need crank arms. So like I mentioned, I have the rotor carbon crank arms in a 172 millimeter so if we go there those crank arms including the um, the preload bearing is 254 grams if we add in the axle that you'll need uh, then it's 352 grams and now, of course, you're going to need chain rings. So one of the reasons I went with the Shimano 4-bolt spider is because I really wanted to use the Shimano chain rings. Um, try to keep that same 12-speed profiling on the rings. And so I have the 5236 version here. And those are coming in, for the two of them, about 148 grams. Okay, and then for everybody that just kind of wants to see what it will look like all put together, we'll just do a quick little assembly, um, and you can kind of get an idea for what this will look like uh, with it all put together. Obviously, if you're going to be assembling this for your own bike, uh, definitely make sure you use the grease and Loctite and all the places that the manual calls for. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems. Um, again, this is just, uh, just a quick... Uh, I want to see what it all looks like put together sort of assembly so don't uh, don't go following this as a step-by-step -step guide on how to assemble um, this crank set but just use it as a kind of a general idea for what it's going to look like so got the chain rings installed um, I will say make sure you're lining up the so there's a little arrow here and then there's also a little pin here so that will kind of dictate which way you want your crank arms to go. Um, and so something that you have to be careful of is which side this charging port is on. So if you can see here, I've actually put it on backwards, right? Because the crank arm should be coming out to this side, but the pin's over here. So when you're actually assembling this, you'll wanna make sure that that pin is underneath the crank arm right there. So keep that in mind. Again, this is just real quick to see what it's gonna look like when it, uh, when it all gets put together here. So then you'll take the axle, you'll wanna line it up um, according. These aren't oval rings, but if you had some sort of oval ring set up, then you would want to uh, line up your rings right there, get your crank arm put on, 
Obviously, I, uh, I'm not doing this to the specs, but we'll get that tightened up. And then there we go. That is, uh, that's what it will look like. Um, so not bad at all. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, let's get one final way in here with all these parts together. So bring the scale over, make sure that's zero. Put the crank arm that I didn't install yet on. Throw the crank set on here. And come on, we can do it. Nope, we're touching the ground. Okay, hold on, hold on. Alrighty, let's do this instead. Let's do this instead. Zero it out. Now, we'll just do it like this. That'll give us an accurate weight. 619 grams. So that is not too bad at all. Okay, well, there we have it. That is the uh, quick look at the new power to max NG Spider, and the, this is the SL version, like I mentioned, so a little bit lighter than their standard Spider, and you can see everywhere they've kind of machined away some of the excess, but uh, that's a quick look. I wanted to call out, especially that charging port now being magnetic as a, a big win, um, so really happy about that, and I'm excited to get it on the bike and test it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.